Hey, I'm assistant coach Jeremy Shiat, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the basic fundamentals of Wyoming basketball in our offense. Uh, this opening set is something that comes from the Florida family, and I think if you watch across the country, you watch Florida play, you watch VCU play, you watch Alabama play, you watch Central Florida play, and obviously uh, Wyoming the last three or four years, you'll see this type of action. Probably the best part about this action is that we get all five players involved, and so we kind of pick on if there's a weak link on the opponent from a defensive standpoint, we're going to try to expose you. So the first thing we're going to talk about is our baseline runner action. So we can start in a variety of ways, but the first thing that we're going to do is Jeremy's going to point to one of these guys. So let's say he points to Trey. Stop. What we're going to do is we're going to have Trey go along the baseline and Alex go along the top. Now go. Stop right there. First job is T. T needs to go set a great screen on Trey's man so that we can create separation for Trey. As we continue, Alex is going to go high, Trey's going to go low. Now, Jonathan's job is to, again, clean up the screen because hopefully Trey, Trey's man is trailing the play. From there, as Trey comes off this, Jeremy has to get the ball in a spot to where Trey can catch the ball. Our first option will be Trey coming off the screen, and that's a shot if these guys can get him open. Okay? The second option, Trey, go back to the middle just so you can see it. The second option. And obviously our big guy's got to be able to finish. So as Trey comes off this screen right here and we pass it, and Jonathan's man helps, stop. Now Jonathan might be open for a second. Trey can pass it to him. And it's a drop-off pass for a dunk. Okay? So that's kind of the, the, the first option to that. Okay, hey, guys, why don't you go back to the original spots? And we can go about 25% speed. So Jeremy, go ahead and point. Good. Now obviously in the Mountain West, there's going to be teams that pressure us. Stop. So Alex always has to do a great job of being a pressure elite. Maybe not for a shot, but just because we have some pretty good defenders that are guarding Jeremy right here, Alex has got to be able to get himself open so that we can get into a flow of offense. Okay? So that's the first part of our baseline offense. Why don't we go back? There's obviously going to be some opponents that look to deny our guards and really pressure us all over the court. So our two interior players have to be more than just screamers. So now we'll get into what we call our flash action after we're getting into baseline. So let's start with the baseline. Trey and Alex are both covered. So the second Trey comes, our bigs will yell flash. And now Jeremy, stop, can utilize either one of these two big guys as a pressure release. So now when our big guys catch it, there's a series of events that can take place. Our first cutter, again, if the other team is pressuring us, and Alex is out wide, and T gets the ball, if they're pressuring out here, Alex may have a back cut. So that's our first option, is Alex going through for a layup. Our second option, Alex doesn't get it. Jeremy comes off for a handoff, stop. If the handoff takes place, T roll, JB fill, and now again, you have either post to pass the ball to for a layup. Go back. Let's say both of these guys are covered. So Alex goes, he's not open. Jeremy goes, he's not open. Stop. Our third option. Jonathan's going to go set a screen for Trey. T's going to bring the ball to the center of the floor because we have to keep the ball centered. Now it's the same action. T roll. Come off it. Jonathan Phil. We either have a pass to T or JB gets it. JB gets it right here. He looks to T, stop. If he's not open, reverse the ball to Alex. Go screen for him. And now we're playing two-man basketball. So again, not overly complicated, but it's a scenario that we want to make sure that all five of these guys on the court are a threat. And if for whatever reason there's a poor defender on the other team, as we get it moving side to side, hopefully we can expose that. Jeremy, I'm sure you guys run a lot of different offensive sets, but like I said, this baseline set and all the options off it, is this pretty much the, the go-to thing or one of your more commonly used offenses? Well, I, I, I think that the thing that you'll find is we have a lot of things that we may start with this action and it flows into something else. So I think the thing that these guys do a great job of it, are knowing all of the options that we just talked about so that if the options are open, we're going to look to score off those things. If not, okay, let's be patient. 
get the ball side to side and get the best shot possible. And for any of you guys, did you guys run similar sets like this in high school, or was this was this completely new? And how complicated was it to learn? How hard was it for you? Was was this? Have you run this before, Jeremy? No, my uh, my offense in high school was more like the Spurs sort of continuity. Um, so coming here was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. For for you guys, the big guys. I mean, your your post players. You're probably supposed to be inside. I mean, was this you know being out and coming out and doing all this the various things? Was that a big was that a big transition for you guys? Oh. Absolutely. Um, we're more used to being inside, taking the paint, you know, setting screens. Now that we have to come out and get our guards open, that's very different. Mm -hmm. It's been an interesting task learning, but the coaching staff has done a really good job um, getting us ready to be able to do that. Sure. Alex, for you, play, you played internationally, so was this something, was this a new concept for you offensively, or is this something you're pretty familiar with? I feel like it's pretty similar to back home. Like, I'm used to the total opposite of training. Uh, back home, it's just execution and uh, just running the plays rather than breaking the guys off the dribble. So, mm -hmm. I'm pretty used to it.